Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTV6. Let's continue with updated chimps. This series we're starting all over again. I'm gonna show you an updated strategy to beat chimps at the black border using no heroes and minimizing RNG. Now you can see that the Easter event has started, uh, so you can collect uh, the, the eggs as you defeat uh, the, the maps to uh, get some insta monkeys and uh, yeah now here I'm gonna continue with advanced maps uh, right now I'm gonna do high finance uh, now I was able to find a way to beat this map without heroes uh, but I did it on the challenge editor and uh, it required uh, um, too much RNG because uh, like certain rounds I had to restart them like 20 times until I got the perfect RNG and uh, the gameplay was very long uh, um, and so I decided that it wasn't worth to upload the video uh, like that because uh, yes despite the fact that it's a challenge uh, completing uh, these advanced maps without heroes I think uh, it might be better to just uh, upload the video that anyone can follow and that can actually be useful. So uh, I decided to do high finance, uh, showing you a black border in this 16.2 patch uh, with heroes. So I'm gonna use Ovin. So uh, yeah, for those of you who were waiting to me to do this map without heroes, the good news is that uh, you can beat it. Uh, the sad news is that you're gonna need a lot of luck and a lot of RNG. So. Uh, yeah, that's why I decided to do this black border run, uh, but with heroes. Uh, now I'm gonna place here um, that monkey. You now here closest to the bottom and to the left side. So yeah, just as always, positioning is very important. So play a little bit with the with the, with the range and exploiting this very nice uh, um, pool uh, or lake in the center. I'm gonna start with uh, sub that monkey. That monkey in first, sub in first as well. Uh, now sub uh, closest to the bottom, and then looking at the right side, you can, you will want to barely touch the wet, the white stripes here at the center of the road, and that's it. So that's all you need to um, place your towers correctly to be able to survive round uh, uh, six. All right, now uh, round seven. I'm gonna uh, place now a duck monkey here closest to the top side and to the right side. So again, you just need to play a little bit with the range. All right. And now that I place this second duck monkey, I'm gonna uh, put this one on strong and uh, the sub in last. Now these changes are only to improve RNG and uh, to make it 100% sure that you can destroy every balloon and that you're not gonna have like a red balloon sometimes being able to sneak past depending exactly on the placement uh, yeah and with this you can survive around uh, 7, 8 and 9 so that uh, halfway through round 10 you can place Obin and uh, yeah he will be able to start leveling up and uh, of course Obin will be able to attack through obstacles. Now a huge thing about this map is the fact that all these buildings are gonna be considered as obstacles so they're gonna block your line of sight. You can see the sniper here just moving it around. And uh, now you can build, so you can spend cash to actually build on uh, every single <clears throat> every single building here. Uh, but yeah, it's not something that I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna spend the cash probably just to build the three buildings and to be, uh, well, as always, sure that I can have my towers in the, in the best uh, position possible. And yeah, that's Obin for you. Uh, yeah, closest to the top, to the left side. And uh, yeah, Obin uh, wolves can fly through the buildings and that's why I think he's uh, one of the best uh, choices for, uh, for this map. And now, uh, yeah, <clears throat> very simply just uh, getting the sub here upgraded at uh, 202. So starting with the bottom path upgrade first, and then uh, uh, yeah, slowly getting uh, the top path. 
Now, uh, here I'm not gonna use Brambles, just to show you that uh, you can survive all these rounds perfectly without RNG. So you don't need Brambles to survive these rounds. And that's why I think it's a very safe way to get the Black Border. Uh, now here I'm gonna though change this up to first, this round of 15. Leaving the that Monkey strong, I think it's a nice idea. And now, uh, yeah, just getting this up here, 202 first. Uh, sorry, 002, and now uh, getting the top path. So unlocking advanced intel, so the sub can start attacking uh, a little bit here in the left side, using this extra range from Obin and a bit, a little bit more into this bottom side. Um, so yeah, those are the only like differences. All right, here we go. But other than that, you can see that the line of sight of the sub is uh, hugely impaired by all these buildings and all these obstacles. And yeah, that's just unfortunate, but you can't do anything about that. Now, every time I'm uh, playing on a map like this one, that has a lot of line of sight blockage and obstacles, uh, the thing I always like to do is get a wizard. Because uh, a wizard can uh, attack through obstacles with a very um, fast and cheap upgrade in the top path, this one right here. And uh, so the wizard becomes pretty much like Obin. So the, the bolts are going to be able to follow the balloons up. And most importantly, now I can get it 102 for round 24. So I can destroy this uh, camo balloon without uh, the need of like using brambles. So once again, RNG is not involved. And, uh, and now every time that uh, camo balloons are going to be in range of um, of this wizard, uh, the sub automatically is going to gain also camo detention. So I think uh, uh, the wizard here is a, a very good option um, for a ton of reasons. Now Obin I can already pop lead balloons, so I don't really think uh, I need uh, like an alchemist or a tower to destroy lead balloons in round 28. I'm going to very simply just keep on uh, upgrading this uh, wizard. And now the, the third upgrade in the top path is going to pretty much like double the range of the wizard and it's gonna increase the attack speed. So now you can see how larger this wizard range is, and uh, yeah, the wizard is uh, a key a key tower in this strategy. Really managing to start weakening the balloons from this, attacking them from the, the top side, um, camo detention, uh, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, super, super good. So, uh, because it's my best tower right now, what I'm going to do very simply is I'm going to uh, place an alchemist to buff it. Now here, alchemist closest to the top side and then move it closest to the wizard. So that's, those are the conditions for uh, the alchemist. And now, uh, just upgrade the alchemist 100 and then, uh, actually, yeah, 200 and then leave it to 0, 0 until the end of round 35. Even if right here you can see that I could get the upgrade, I will not get it. Now this is once again to reduce RNG in round 36 where there are three pink rushes coming from the top side and um, you need to have the brew in the... to reduce RNG you need to have the brew in the correct timing and you can decide that by before round 36 starts, then you get the brew. And so uh, now, as soon as the round starts, the alchemist will give the brew to the wizard. And uh, especially before the pinks are gonna enter into its range. So that's like perfect timing. Um, and uh, yeah, very simply, just like that, you can uh, you can survive round 36. Again, not using brambles and uh, minimizing RNG as much as possible. Then instead for the uh, fourth upgrade of the Alchemist, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter when you get it. So uh, yeah, once I have enough cash, I just got it. And now uh, something that I always recommend to do is uh, uh, once uh, round 39 starts, just uh, drop one set of Brambles. If you are lucky, uh, these Brambles are going to be on the path of the mob, and uh, you're going to have uh, an extra 50 um, damage against the sorry 100 I think it is 100 damage against the one player 
if you are unlucky, for example, Brambles is placed right here or here, then you can start round 40 and you can try to place Brambles once again. So you have like double chance of having Brambles correctly. Now in this case, I got very lucky and I got Brambles on the path of the Moab both times. So I was able to defeat the Moab very quickly. But even if you have only one set of Brambles and some balloons can like turn around and can start getting right here, Remember, you can attack them once again with the wizard, with the sub, so you shouldn't have any any problem. And uh, yeah, this is the best uh, start I could find here. Uh, yes, it's true that the wizard is out of range of Obin, and uh, even if I boost Obin's range with uh, like an alchemist and with a village, it will never become uh, large enough to reach this wizard. But despite that, I think this position for the wizard is the best one. Like placing a wizard down here is just uh, too bad because it's too far away from the balloons. And uh, yeah, now getting it 402. Extra damage against uh, uh, map glass balloons. More attack speed, projectile speed. It's just, uh, uh, it's just uh, a lot better. And now I can start going fast forward. So. Uh, now, uh, I think that after you can get the wizard of 402 is when uh, the early game ends and you start into playing into the middle game. Now here I'm gonna use uh, this bottom path. Now here there should be some camo balloons, but you should be able to pop them with the sub. Some purple camo balloons so the wizard can't uh, destroy them. Always a little bit problematic. Um, anyway here placing a village um, now closest to this that monkey and then closest to the right side now the positioning from now on it's very 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 important so make sure that you can uh, do it uh, correctly so that's the first village 002 and now I'm gonna place here another village and I'm gonna place it as close as I can to the bottom side so um, your Again, just play a little bit with the range and once you can place this village closest to the bottom side here you can see I can do it then place it now this is important because uh, the more room you leave in this left side the better it's gonna be so now I have stacked two villages with this count I'm gonna get this first village one zero two and uh, now very simply here I'm gonna drop a um, a druid on top of this uh, building. Now you can see that once you build a building uh, and you place towers on top of that, you have completely free line of sight. See here the difference from here to here. So I'm going to exploit that to place this druid that's going to become my avatar of wrath later on in the game um, on top of this um, roof, right? And then as close as I can to the right side. So as close as I can to the top side and to the right side. So those are the two requirements that I'm trying to achieve in placing this through it here. And here we go. So the most important thing I I think is just placing it closest to the right side. Rather than if even if you don't place it the like closest super super close to the top side but it's still on top of the roof i think it's gonna be fine now down here i'm gonna place an alchemist so closest to the bottom side all right and then you try to move it as close as possible to the right side all right so that should be pretty simple you should have enough room as you can see here to place another druid here all right and i'm gonna place this druid here closest to the top and to the uh, left side just like this should be able to now place drop another druid here in this top uh, right side and uh, yeah here we go so now yeah, I'm gonna just start upgrading these druids uh, one zero one four so to pop list and uh, now the most important thing is that uh, I'm gonna have the the druids um, uh, that's gonna be the avatar of wrath on top of the roof so it has free line of sight it can attack everywhere uh, and yeah the most important thing is that every other populace that I'm gonna place then around it 
um, is going to boost the attack speed of this particular druid. For example, you can see that this one and this one seem to be too far away, right? Uh, actually, now they are in range because Obin is level 11, right? Yeah. And so uh, yeah, it may happen that these two druids can't benefit from each other's apoplast effect. But the most important thing, as I said before, is having this central druid. The druid is going to be the Avatar Wrath in a range of all the other druids. Uh, so now I'm going to get this village 202, so giving more attack speed. Um, now, camera detention, I don't really think it's that important right now. So I'm going to continue with my strategy by placing a, a nice tower right here. Now, closest uh, yeah, anywhere should be enough room. So closest to the bottom and to the right side. Right, here we go. One, two, three, uh, zero, three, one. And once again, I'm going to use uh, the freezing of the water to be able to keep on placing druids. So you, I couldn't, I wouldn't have enough room to place more druids here. But because I'm freezing now the water, I can keep on placing druids. And in this way, I can keep on boosting the attack speed of all of them. Um, and yeah, now this is round 63. With the uh, 402 wizard up here and all the druids down here, you should be fine. Not using brambles, not using wall of trees, you should be fine regardless. Uh, and remember that even if some bloons here can sneak past your the bottom side, you have all the druids pretty much that can attack somehow all this uh, bottom side. And also, uh, yeah, Obin, I think it's out of range, but uh, yeah, the other druids should be in range. And now I'm gonna keep on placing these druids now here. Uh, focusing just on getting them in range of both villages. So, uh, yeah, do the best I can here. Okay, here I see the double discount sign, so that means that it's in range of both villages. And uh, now, three, four, five, and then I need uh, six, to, I need two more, right? Because I have. Uh, no, I just need one more. Yeah, one more is gonna be six, so just one more druid, and it's gonna be it. Uh, so yeah, let's just place it right here, closest to the left side really. Trying to save as much room as possible there in the right side. And here we go. Now getting this village 0, uh, 2, 2. So giving camel attention now to Obin, to all these druids. Um, for the very simple reason that the second ceramic rush in round 78 is camel. Uh, so yeah, it's true that you this wizard has camel detention. And so the wizard and the sub will be able to target those camo balloons. But if I can't attack those ceramics with the druids and the obin, it's gonna be game over. So uh, yeah, you need this village uh, with camo detention. And now every single druid should have uh, camo detention. And most importantly, the central druid, so the druid is gonna be the water wrath, should have the popless effect stacked five times. Uh, so that's maximum attack speed. And now uh, it's all about waiting. So uh, you have placed the sixth, uh, the six druids. So uh, they're boosting uh, each other attack speeds. Uh, they're uh, they're also damaging, of course, the balloons. And now you only you just need to wait until you get enough cash to get the water wrath. It should be in around 84. Uh, so in 12 rounds from now. And uh, yeah, remember to get the Avatar of Wrath out of the Druid that is on top of the uh, roof, so you can attack anywhere. Yeah, uh, this is the best I could find. Once again, using the very nice uh, Arctic Wind upgrade to, um, to freeze the water and to be able to keep on placing Druids. So you can see that these three Druids I was able to place them only because I froze the water, because otherwise there is just not enough room to uh, to place them. And uh, now the fact that the alchemist right here is uh, prioritizing this druid in the left side and not the druid that's going to be the water of wrath, but still it's buffing it because those two druids are the closest towers to it. So uh, yeah, even if it's not prioritized, I think it's gonna still fine yeah the worst druid is uh, this one down here because uh, 
uh, it, it doesn't have bobbin in range, so it doesn't exploit the extra pierce and the extra range. Uh, it can't even attack this bridge here in the center, so uh, yeah, it's the weakest uh, druid of them all. Uh, but yeah, it just serves the purpose of increasing the uh, the attack speed of the uh, of the main druid. So now here you can see surviving all these rounds perfectly, uh, not using brambles, not using wall of trees. There is no need to do that. And uh, yeah, that shows just how good this strategy is and how level RNG is involved. The only thing that is happening right now is Obi leveling up and uh, becoming stronger and stronger. Now I think after the end of round 78, so as soon as round 79 is gonna start, I'm gonna start spamming a Brambles, preparing against the, the Zomai oh God. Now the Zomai God should be quite easy. Um, because, uh, well, it's gonna come from the top side and yeah, you're gonna have just a ton of time attacking it. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna risk, so once again, trying to reduce RNG by spamming Brambles. Now they can pop up to 500 balloons. Um, and yeah, around 79 is pretty long, so if you have some Brambles around and that can do extra damage against the Zomai God, uh, why not? So it doesn't really matter where these Brambles are placed. The important thing is that they're placed uh, somewhere. And if any Brambles can survive, that's uh, better. So it's not 100% needed. Uh, you can perfectly survive around the 80 without any Brambles. But yeah, why, why not? I'm gonna just uh, use this extra feature. So yeah, I was able to place three set of Brambles see three set of brambles were able to survive round 79 and now um, yeah this is just uh, uh, round 80 here you can see just destroying all the balloons uh, super super efficiently they weren't even able to like turn and to be popped up here so yeah no no problem uh, now round 81 the only difference is the fact that now the ceramics are uh, tougher to pop so once again, I'm going to just uh, spam Brambles. So whenever I have Brambles uh, off cooldown, I'm going to place it. And uh, yeah, now it's just waiting until you can get the Avatar of Wrath. Round 82 is the round with the highest RNG. Um, because, uh, well, depending on exactly when you have the totem. So Obin's totem is going to slow down the blooms, right? So depending exactly on when the totem is, you may be um, popping the balloons easier or uh, a little later on, like right here. Uh, but yeah, despite that, I still think you should be able to survive that particular round 100% uh, of times. Now, if you feel like uh, um, the balloons are about to get past or anything, remember that you can always use wall of trees. So uh, I'm not using it right now, but uh, you can definitely use it. So that's yet another defense that's gonna help you to absorb some balloons and to increase your chances of surviving. I'm not using it because I wanna show you that you can perfectly survive without it. Um, but yeah, now round 80 to four, as I said before, uh, Avatar of Wrath, and this is just game over. So from now on, you just need to place those um, supporting towers that are gonna help you at slowing down the balloons like a glue gunner or a mob press um, a 032 alchemist uh, and then I'm gonna get a balloon sabotage and a uh, overclock and that's gonna be it for this map so here getting uh, an MAB very early uh, just preparing against DDTs and uh, why not and now should be able to have enough room here to get a glue gunner. Now placing the glue gunner closest to the top and to the right side. The important thing is going to be that this glue gunner will be able to glue um, my class balloons coming from the top side and coming from the left side. So uh, yeah, adding uh, once again slows and uh, giving more time for my towers to uh, destroy all the balloons. Now the Avatar of Wrath can already um, annihilate 
most of the balloons very very quickly but uh, once again just to be sure all right so here I'm gonna actually get primary training so that this glue gunner becomes already stronger and also now that I'm gonna get a uh, more press up here it should also be stronger and also the ice tower but uh, I think the ice tower is just out of range of everything Oops. Uh, because uh, yeah I haven't got the fourth upgrade and so the range is just uh, uh, large enough so that I can place towers on top of the water uh, but yeah that's pretty much it all right so that's more press and uh, now here can I get uh, an engineer here I think I can't so I'm gonna I will be able only to place a ninja yeah unfortunately um, now here what I'm gonna do is pretty simple uh, because I know that these rounds I can survive uh, them pretty well I'm gonna just build here this building for 1000 cash so now I can get an engineer here in range of at least one village it's not gonna be in range of both villages but at least of one village so I will save some cash in placing this uh, engineer uh, and uh, yeah now getting an overclock so that's my idea so before even getting balloon sabotage I'm gonna get an overclock and by increasing even further the attack speed I think I will not even need uh, balloon sabotage for around uh, 95 and uh, um, yeah then you can just get overcock right here and I can I mean the ninja and I can start upgrading the ninja so here I'm gonna wait to use overclock until I see the DDTs entering inside the screen so here we go now overclocking the outer of wrath you can see that the the insane amount of damage I do to the DDTs like even if they're going at full speed I'm still destroying them so quickly um, yeah now building a balloon sabotage now I'm pretty sure this is not needed so you can uh, like survive uh, even if you don't get um, uh, the balloon sabotage but yeah why not so overclock that I'm gonna use now this spot up here actually first I'm gonna place a village here um, just to give more range more attack speed and also so that then I can get here yeah here we go a 03 to alchemist once again just uh, some supporting towers creating more explosions uh, it's always uh, nice to have Run 98 should be very easy. You have, you have uh, level uh, rage from the Avatar of Wrath level 3, so you do a ton of damage. And um, I mean, here uh, I don't even need to get like anything. So I can use here Bloom Sabotage just to be 100% sure that again these DDTs are destroyed without problems. And now the BD. Uh, and that's it. So that's gonna be the Black Border for this map. I hope you guys enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.